it's Audrey welcome to another video so today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video for you guys a lot of you have been asking and requesting different type of like motivational or inspirational or just like feel good type of videos I haven't done a lot of those in the past but I thought I would do that for you because I like this type of stuff I really like to listen to motivational or some type of really inspiring or anything that has to do with just like making myself better. Basically what I'm gonna do is take something that I read in a book or I heard at church like in a sermon or maybe just in my own personal time in the Bible and share it with you guys. And by the way, you do not have to be religious. You don't have to believe in God. You don't have to believe in Jesus. You don't have to be Christian. You don't have to do any of that type of stuff to get anything from these type of videos. This is a 100% judgment-free zone. I really think that it would help you just in your everyday life, regardless if you are religious or not. I just wanted to share this stuff for you guys and also just for me personally, so I can come back in you know months or years and rewatch these and kind of be inspired myself, uh, to be honest with you. So here's what I wanna talk about today. The whole idea of the chapters of your life. All of us look at our life in a big, picture. At the same time, we tend to divide our life up into different chapters. Maybe you like you kind of look at your life and you say, oh, well, that chapter of my life was when I was a kid. That chapter was when we moved to this new house. That chapter was when I was in high school. That chapter when I dated that person. There was that really bad chapter when we broke up. Then there was the chapter of I had this job and then I dealt with this tragedy. We kind of look at our life in different chapters. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like that's just, I think that's human nature. I want to really talk about the whole idea of getting caught up in those chapters of your life and never being able to move on, never being able to move forward. Because the, the truth of the matter is, if you can't get past those chapters, if you're stuck in a chapter and you can't keep going, you're never going to finish the book in a good, positive way. Point number one is chapters are not the whole story. They're just chapters. Have you ever met someone when you, the first five minutes of just talking to them, maybe you learn their name, you learn where they went to school, maybe they have a job or something like that. But even then, they start kind of telling you their life story. And maybe the one thing that they identify with and the one thing that they say, you know, this is basically me in a nutshell, is this one chapter of their life. I know that I meet people like this all the time and I actually used to be one of these people. Like when I met someone, I'd just be like, oh, hey, I'm Audra and blah, 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 blah. And by the way, X, Y, and Z. And people were just like, okay, you know? Honestly, a lot of people do this. This would be like, for example, maybe you meet someone and they're like, hey, my name's Susie and you know, I, was a cancer survivor, I have cancer right now. Hey, my name's Bob and my wife left me. Hey, my name's Janet and you know, my kid has this problem. Hey, my name's Ben and I went bankrupt. You know, you usually can pick up on those type of people and those type of circumstances right away. Here's the thing about this. That chapter is not your whole story. Whatever chapter you were going through in the past, or maybe even that you're going through right now, that doesn't have to be your whole story. And if you're not careful, if you let it become your whole story, then you're gonna end up sabotaging the whole story because it's not meant to be like that. It's just meant to be one tiny little chapter in this grand book of your life. Think about it like in terms of baking a cake. When you have a cake, you have all these different ingredients. You have the flour, you have the baking soda, you have the sugar, you have the oil, like you have all these different types of ingredients that go into the cake. And if you just, focus on one of those ingredients, like you really overdo it on one of those ingredients, you're going to ruin the whole cake. If you put way too much flour in there, it's going to be super dense. If you put way too much oil, it's gonna be super greasy. Everything has to work in tandem, so you can't put too much focus on one of those ingredients. If you do everything right, if you do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, then as you bake the cake, it's going to turn out delicious and it's gonna be great. If you focus on one chapter of your life too much, you're going to risk sabotaging the entire Thing. The chapter is just a chapter. It's not the whole story. Point number two is that some of the worst chapters that you might go through make the best stories. Think about that. Some of the worst chapters that maybe you go through or maybe even you've seen like a friend go through or maybe a story that you heard on TV or something like that, those end up making the best stories. I mean, nobody likes to listen to a story or watch a movie or hear a newscast about someone who you know like an Olympic athlete and let's say that they were genetically gifted they had all the money in the world they were backed by these awesome sponsors they had all the high quality high-tech gear they had everything running for them perfectly and then they win like no one cares about that everyone's just like 
Okay, well that's just kind of a given. The stories that you love to hear are the ones where it's like the underdog story or the person who went through a really, really bad time and they ended up coming back or the person who was set up for failure to begin with, but they overcame those odds and they ended up being successful and victorious in the long run. Those are the type of stories that we love to hear. When it comes to your own life, if you love to hear those stories about other people and you're very inspired and motivated by them, don't cheat yourself out of that, okay? Don't look at your situation. Maybe it's a horrible relationship that's happened or maybe it's financial problems or maybe it's health issues or maybe it's um, your marriage or it could be anything. Don't let those things ruin you from being victorious or successful in the long run. Those type of things can end up making the best stories. It's like when you're talking to old people and they just start talking and they start telling you, you know, when I was this and this and this, and I went through this really hard time and then all of a sudden I did this and it changed and you're just like, whoa, that is so inspiring. That can be you. You can use whatever you're going through, whatever you've gone through for the better in the long run. And that's totally up to you. Point number three is you might not get to decide the chapter, like what actually happens in the chapter, but you do get to write the name of the chapter. You do get to give the chapter its title. Everyone deals with just crap in their life. Everyone deals with things that are out of your control. You can't control maybe the people that come into your life, the things that happen to you, the traumatic events. You can't control any of that. You can control a few things, but not everything. You know, maybe you were in a really bad situation or maybe somebody stole a bunch of your money or maybe something happened in your marriage or happened in your family, you lost someone to a horrible tragedy. It could be anything like that. And you're not in control of that. You know, obviously you're not in control of that. But what you are in control of is you are in control of writing the name and the title of that chapter of your life. And you are in control of how you respond to that and how you use that in your life. When it comes to writing the name of that chapter, what are you going to name it? Are you gonna look back on that chapter of your life and say, I'm gonna name that chapter bitter or I'm gonna name it better. Stepping stone or I'm gonna name it stumbling block. Heartache or I'm gonna name it happiness. The way that you name those chapters and the way that you look at those chapters and view those chapters are 100% up to you. Whatever happened to you, that was out of your control. You can't change it, you can't do anything about that, but you can change your heart on that matter and you can look at that and say, you know what? I can't change that, it happened, but I'm going to use this for the better. I can name this chapter to be something positive and good in my life instead of negative and weighing me down forever. Point number four is the end of the chapter is not the end of the story. Maybe you literally are at your wits end at this point. Maybe it's a horrible relationship, it's a horrible job that you're in, maybe it's your your finances, maybe it's your health, and you feel like you are literally at the end of the road and you just wanna give up, you just wanna stop, you just wanna throw in the towel and just literally end whatever it is. But the good news is, is that it's just the end of the chapter. The story keeps going on. It will keep going on, it will keep continuing, and that's up for you to, to take control of and to keep going. We just, this past weekend, uh, celebrated Easter and for Christians, that means that we celebrate the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So if you're a Christian, or maybe not even a Christian, maybe you just know this from history or reading the Bible or whatever, the week before Jesus died was the worst week of his entire life. Literally, he was betrayed by one of his best friends. He was beaten, he was tortured, he was literally crucified and he was killed and hung on a cross. That could have been the end, but then he ends up raising from the dead and being victorious. And that is what God wants for you as well. He doesn't want you to see this horrible chapter that you're going through right now and just see that as the end. Don't be so confined to this chapter in your life or a chapter in your life that happened in the past. That's not you, it's not the end of the story. It continues on and that's totally up to you to keep doing. Keep moving forward no matter what it is, no matter what you're going through, Remember that God wants you to become victorious in the end. He doesn't want you to just stop and stay there and be depressed and be anxious and be worrying and stressful and all this type of stuff. That's not what he wants. He wants you to continue moving forward. So I hope that that is helpful. I hope that that really um, inspires some of you guys. And if you like these type of videos, please let me know in the comments below or just hit the like button so I'll continue to do them. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye.